Look, y'all, look. So I was in the Target today, right? And I was, like, walking past the aisles over there by the freezing section. You know what I'm trying to say? But anyway, right, I heard this little girl say, uh, Mommy, he keeps touching me. Then when I got to that particular aisle, I looked over and passed the aisle and all of a sudden I seen this rich white woman fuck her son up. I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. It was confusing to me because you never see like rich white women, you know, giving their children discipline. But I was, I was like befuddled because I'm like, am I supposed to like call the police in this situation? What do you do when a rich white woman is disciplining her kids in public? What do you do? At any rate, love bugs, if you have not already done so, please remember to like, share to Facebook, and subscribe because it is so important to our success here on the YouTube. And if you are not already a part of our Bella Book Club, please hit the Patreon link below and for a small monthly fee, you, yes you, can be privy to all the shenanigans before the YouTube gets it, if the YouTube gets it. Now, let's talk about the final part of the coldest winter ever by Sister Soldier. Okay, so I know y'all know that my voice is sounding a little hoarse or a little strained. My asthma has been bothering me lately. My bad, okay. But anyway, let's go forward. And I know you see I'm on a spreaker and I know y'all like, where they face it? But y'all told me that it was okay for me to use spreaker because I said it was so much work doing these damn videos. Okay? Anyway, let's get into it. So where we left off, guys, um, Winter was discussing the letters that she had read in the holding cell the night of her arrest. Now, let's put that on pause, okay, because I need to take care of some other business before we move forward with that, okay? Now, Winter is currently inside of her sentence, all right? She has a mandatory 15-year sentence, right? So, she is, I think she's about five years in her mandatory sentence, but she's fitting to leave out them pearly gates, Okay, why? Because she has just found out that her mother had died suddenly for some kind of blood clot in her brain. Now, went to say, okay, it's strange to her to think of her mother dead because she had been dying all along. I said, oh, that shit is profound, child. That shit is profound. Okay, but so like I was saying, the mother had passed now. You know, and you know, in prison, they don't let you out for nothing, right? That's because, you know, they like you a nigga. You've been a nigga out here in these streets, so we ain't going to let you see the streets for a while until you serve a sentence to show us that you know how to act, okay? That's crazy. Our justice system is so jacked up, right? So, since she is finna leave out the door, you know, to go, on, you know, to go to her mother's funeral, okay? Everybody in the jail is like, uh, okay, make sure you tell me what all the hairdos is, what the uh, latest cars are, where everybody is wearing, ah, 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 because if you guys remember, back then, before these prisoners, prisoners or inmates or conv convictees, whatever the heck they call them now, I don't know, okay? That's not my life no more, but um, before these prisoners started, you know, sticking cell phones up their butt or paying somebody to stick a cell phone up their butt, that the only way of communication was through letters and their and the pay phones inside the jails. Okay, so nobody knows anything, especially them. But now you know them ninjas got them dang on, you know, cell phones, you know, stick them up somebody's butt. Okay, and now. Uh, you know, they find out everything, you know, everything, you know, they got their fee-fees and can watch porn. Do y'all know what a fee, fee is? Google it, child. You're welcome. Now, Winter been in the joint 
uh, mean wrecking shop, you know. She said that uh, she was doing several hustles to keep her commissary livable, and I'm doing air quotes. And if uh, those hustles didn't provide livable commissary, then she would just find some food and shake them down. Mm. I wonder what that's like. But she said fighting to her was nothing now. She did it with ease, nothing about it. I mean, square up, bruh. I don't ever want to be that person. But, you know, this winter story, not mine. Went to say when she first came there, she was trying to uh, keep herself pretty and up and stuff like that. But she figured out for what? To dress up for a bunch of women, you know, and now she's getting it. Now you're realizing that all that lifestyle, all that money you had, all them dope boys, your dope boy daddy, you know, your fashionable fly mama. You know, it's, it's y'all, it is crazy how this movie, I'm not movie, but how this book started and how it ended. God, it's, it's astounding. And by the way, guys, listen. So we're going to do the uh, Q&A cash giveaway Saturday, I think about 12 o'clock, okay? And then immediately after that, we're going to go over to the stereo app and we're going to have a conversation about uh, the book because we need to talk about this book, okay? So if you haven't joined the stereo app already, look in the description bar so that you can be a part of the conversation Saturday immediately after we do the Q&A, okay? Now, you remember Natalie, right? Mm-hmm, that bitch, okay. Natalie, the girls Zakia and Shantae, they all down there together. Okay, they got a whole crew together. Even the girl Simone that was yelling to Natalie, cut her, cut that bitch, cut her, cut her. She even in there. Okay, and according to Winter, she finally decided to forgive Winter because Simone secretly, not secretly, but outwardly accused Winter of being responsible for the death of her daughter. Because remember, a uh, bullet was like uh, Simone went to the hospital. You know, they had a baby, but she came back by herself, okay? Now, see, Winter's not getting any visits down there because she said that the place is like damn near in Canada, right? And on top of that, the girls, you know, whether they were, you know, cool when they was in Brooklyn together or not cool, she said basically it's like family up in there. They've developed their own you know, group or alliance in order to stay alive in a joint. I can believe that. Now, let me break this down, okay? So, you remember Natalie, she thought she, you know, she had the best nigga in the world, but all of the girls that are in there, all the girls has drug-related charges, okay? And they got these charges from messing around with these dope boys. None of the dudes is locked up, though. Only them dumb bitches, okay? So, They all are incarcerated for standing next to the dope boy. That's a consequence. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why people think, well, I don't know. Let me shut the fuck up with my judgment because when I was in that lifestyle, all I thought about was the good part. I didn't think about what if the police pull us over. One of them girls got caught up because they were in the car with um, with a dude who was carrying some weight in the car. She just got in the car with the nigga. Now both of them got charges. Now Winter is thinking in her mind about that day that she got hemmed up where she watched bullets back of his head. The back of bullet head get small as he walked away to freedom and she walked right into uh, the holding cell. Okay, so now we back at these letters, right? So inside the letters, that she received from Santiago, she found out a couple of things. One of the things was that her father actually did kill two of her mother's brothers, her uncles, because you know all of them worked for Santiago. Now let me tell you why Santiago put one in them, because according to Winter, she said that her father could not tolerate a weak man. Them uncles started snitching. 
Okay, so Santiago figured in his mind, oh, no, 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 you ain't going to snitch on me, okay? I ain't going to be in here for life, and then you get to get out, you know? No, so Santiago took two of her uncles down, okay? And with his mind, I guess my daddy did what he had to do, okay? Now, when it come down to snitching, that's some shits I will never, ever understand. But that's that dope boy life, you know what I'm saying? Like, example, okay, the police come, you see them coming, it's a group of dudes, they throw a gun on the ground, right? So, you know, they find the police find a gun. Everybody get arrested. Okay, who gun is it? Who gun is it? It ain't my gun, sir. It ain't my gun. Now, sometimes them charges is dropped, okay? Sometimes, but they make them little boys sit, you know, in jail, you know? So, nobody uh, catches the charge. Me, on the other hand, uh-uh. <clears throat> Somebody body end up, you know, in the river somewhere, and then they come to me, and all the evidence is against me, and I'm like, whoa, 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 I didn't do this, Charlie did this, you know what I'm saying, you expect for me to do a whole life sentence because Charlie did this, no, fuck no, Charlie did it, you know, and I'm making fun of it, y'all, but for real, for real. I ain't no snitch either. You know, I ain't the type of person to be like, you know, oh, such and such did it. Ah, ah, ah. I am the type of motherfucker to be like, oh, I ain't see nothing. I ain't seen nothing. I don't know what happened. I can't see. I can't see. My cataract ain't working right. Now, the next thing was Santiago told her to get in contact with that little Puerto Rican girl, right? That got his baby, Ricky Santiago Jr., right? She was holding $50,000 for Winter. The only thing that he wanted Winter to make sure that she did was to get his wife, her mother, and put her in some type of rehab and make sure that she takes care of um, of um, her mother, okay? Now, when Winter called the bitch, I mean the lady, collect. That lady hung up the phone and changed her number. She had that $50,000, and she was holding it close to her chest. I mean, winter ain't never coming out. Well, winter is going to come out, but no time soon, okay? Santiago ain't coming out never because that ninja got two consecutive life sentences. I said, damn, ooh, that mean back-to-back. That nigga is not coming home, okay? So anyway, so anyway. That daggone girl, I'm like, how is it that the young girl had enough sense to put money away, but you dumb bitches living in a house with him, and y'all don't have enough sense to put money away? So now she on a ride on a plane to go to her mother's funeral, okay? Now, she on a plane, you know, and everybody looking at her because she is in chains, okay? One thing about my job that I do not miss is seeing uh, black men in change. I don't mind seeing black women. I mean, I don't want to see black women in change either. But it's just the point. It just, for some reason, when I see black people, period, in change, it my mind just automatically goes back to slavery. So that part of my life, I'm glad is over, you know. But she uh, remembered seeing or recollect seeing how everybody was looking at her. Have y'all ever been on a plane and seen that before? I did. I did. I said, oh, God damn, I hope this situation will turn into an old snakes on a plane situation. I ain't got time for that type of, you know, BS, okay? But it 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 went well, but, you know, anyway, she there, okay, at the grave site. She's standing there. She got two guards on her, okay? She sees her father. Santiago, he got two guards on him, okay? They both acknowledge each other with the cut on her face that she got from, uh, who cut her face? Natalie. I'm saying to myself, wait a minute, you friends with the bitch Natalie? You should be kicking her in her back every goddamn day. Or was it Simone? Was it Simone that cut her face? Because I can't remember, y'all. But anyway, what? no, it was Simone that cut her face open, you know? And Simone, you know, she got to work with the crew, too, in order so she won't die. Right. But even with the cut on her face, Santiago was like, hey, pretty girl, you're still the most beautiful girl in the world. You know, she said her father had a way of making her feel good. But for real, that had something to do with why that bitch act like the way she act, too. Okay. then Santiago walks over to the casket, looks at his wife, 
falls to his knees and said, who the fuck is that in the damn casket? That's not my wife. That's not my wife. Starts crying, right? Both of the two. That means um, um, Winter and her father are having a breakdown. Now, out of the blue, a couple of people came from uh, or were starting to come towards the site, right? Now, we didn't know or they didn't know who it was at first. Winter didn't know. Santiago didn't know. But as usual, it was midnight and he went straight to Santiago to report on how his daughters were doing. Because midnight had control over, uh, what's their names? Damn, the twins' names. I forget the twins' name, y'all. But anyway, midnight had the twins. Now, when Midnight introduced, and I know you like introduced, but Midnight had, you know, took the girls or the twins over to their father. The little girls were very proper, and they spoke to him, you know, with respect. Hello, mister. How are you doing, mister? It's good to see you again, mister. It was like the children were so different. They were about 15 years old now, okay? So... Um, excuse me. And when they went over to uh, Winter to acknowledge her, it was like they were looking up at her with sadness in their eyes. OK, then suddenly this big black 600 bands come flying through there. OK, loud music like they going to a daggone party. Right. And out steps this girl with shades on. An all white Versace outfit. Now, how I went to know what the fuck? Well, maybe it said Versace on. I don't know. But I'm saying to myself, went to, how the fuck you know it's a Versace outfit? Girl, you doing too much, okay? But the girl steps out of the car, and it was Porsche. Now, Porsche is a piece of work right now, okay? She walks over to her sister. What's up, Winter? The guards you know, request that Porsche steps back, you know, Porsche being, you know, who she is. Damn, I can't even talk to my sister. The guards stand down, okay? Now, Winter is looking at her like, uh, what's going on here? You got all this going on. Oh, yeah, I'm messing with this dude named Buster, child. Me and him living around near to Manhattan, child. We got it going on. We living up. A good life, baby. We live in a good life. Now, Winter is starting to see herself in Porsche. Okay? She recognizes everything that's going on, but she's still staying quiet. So, what's going on with Midnight? You know, who's those people over there? One of the people that were there with Midnight was his wife. You know, Winter saying to herself, she don't look better than me, child, but she free, though. She free. She free as a motherfucker. Cause she can fuck him anytime she want. Okay. She ain't got write no letters. You know, join. You know, titties on it or nothing like that. But she free. The other girl was her little, was his little sister. And then she went on to talk about the twins. She said, "Yeah, midnight adopted the twins, and um, turned them real, real religious." She said that midnight turned his whole life around. He. His wife and his sister and the girls, the two twins, are living in uh, Maryland. And Midnight stopped the game, period. Okay? He is he is the owner of a barbershop now. Now, since we're talking about what ninjas is doing, let's talk about what that nigga Bullet is doing. Okay? The one who went to watch the back of his head get small. What he is doing, he out the game. Right? But he didn't figure out a way to do bootleg tapes. Rem- okay, y'all. Okay. Remember when... Oh, okay. So, back in the day when we was doing CDs and DVDs and VHS, VHS tapes, you can bo- bootleg them. Okay? You can sell a uh, bootleg... Now, it's against the federal law now. That shit is illegal. Okay? That shit is illegal now. I don't know if it was illegal then, but it's definitely illegal now. But... um. You know, it was people that would sell bootleg tapes, you know, movies that was out, but not out, you know, new uh, music from rappers, you know, people was making a killing off of that. And that kind of changed the games in regards to how much money that the artists would make, because it was so much bootleg going on that the 
record labels or the movies weren't making money anymore off of their um, actors or artists. So that changed the game horrifically. That's why these damn artists got to break their necks on tour, okay? Because they can't make no money selling albums because it's my hunches like bullet that's stealing their music and selling it for ninety nine ninety five, okay? Or nine ninety five, okay? Whatever it is, whether it's a movie, I don't know, a porn or whatever it is, right? So, you know, now what Bullet is doing is he got a whole record store full of bootleg music. According to Porsche, that Negro is paid, okay? Now, Winter is still looking at her sister, still looking at her going, damn, I see my sister taking the wrong turn. She about to be a victim, okay, to the to the street life. And I, I can say something to my sister now. I could talk to her and tell her, Porsche, don't do this. You headed down the wrong path. But according to Porsche, she like, Hey, I ain't the type of person. I mean, I had Porsche. According to Winter, she like, hey, I ain't the type of person to invade or, you know, impose my, uh, you know, views on somebody. So fuck it. Porsche will learn just as I did. And the book went on. Okay? Or oh, it ended, y'all. So thank you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Sorry that my voice is so raspy, but y'all, I am worn out. I'm ready for the next um, book, Tina Turner. I'm going to start working on that. And do not forget, this Saturday at 12 o'clock is going to be the live Q&A cash giveaway. And immediately after that, we're going to do our stereo. So thank you guys for all your support. Um, And remember that the same people you meet on the way up will always be the same people that you meet on the way down. My naysayers, my patron loves, my love bugs, my bellas. Please be safe out there and be COVID free. God bless.